Alright guys, wait, this is intro? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> hey guys. Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going to create this deep wave using a beach waver. I'm keeping it really long, glossy. So if you want to watch this Super tutorial, pretty. keep on watching. What do you call this? Like, call it like a, like a deep wave. A deep wave. So we blow dry it, just like nice and smooth. I use this like color wow, it's like a humidity protectant. I like it because it's like it's light enough, but yeah. it doesn't like weigh down the hair. It smooths everything down. But your hair smooths so so easily. With this look, you kind of don't really want layers, so it's important to like kind of pack them in, but in a strategic placement so that it doesn't look like really bulky. You kind of want to like camouflage it. But the, the trick is putting everything like at a diagonal so that it kind of sandwiches all the hair in between without looking like you have like 20 packs of hair in your head. So we'll start right here. I love hair, adding hair. <laughs> I know, it's like the most gratifying feeling Give it to ever. me. So we're using 22 inch. It looks kind of longer on her, I don't know why. The longer the better. A lot of people like to use like hairspray when they put in extensions. I really don't. I don't know why people do it, I feel like I've never had an issue with extension staining with just the little tees. I just find like hairspray at the root just like really just makes the hair feel gross. And also if you're doing any type of hair changes, it just like... Makes it harder. Yeah, it just change. makes it like more difficult. Do you prefer clip-ins or do you prefer um, like tape or glue? Honestly, it depends. So if, if I'm not doing any type of hair change, mm -hmm. then I really like glue the best. I just think it's the most like camouflage. It one. lays flatter. It or... lays flatter and you don't have to put as much hair in. I like to braid all the underneath hair so that no short hair pops out. Oh yeah. Um, your hair is at a length now and the color matches really well that you might not see it, but I'll probably just end up braiding just a little bit. Really close to the hairline, but like you kind of give a little bit of distance there and you put it at a diagonal so it pushes forward and what it does is it hides all these like short pieces mm -hmm. and just kind of like kind of feels everything. so like flat it's yeah crazy. like so these are called seamless they're by the hair shop they're like really 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 flat the only thing is if if they're blonde and you need to like root them this part doesn't really like pick up color so that's the only downside so oh because it has that rubbery kind yeah of what's like your favorite hair look that you've ever done Ooh. Um, there was a look that I did on Chrissy Teigen for Ellen, mm -hmm. and it was like the first time I'd really like Does done a look sense? like that. Yeah. yeah, it was recent. It was so pretty. Ugh, this is my favorite look on her. Yes. I think she looks so good. I want a photo of it. Here it is. Go to the bag. Oh, that's pretty. It's like super sleek, like you said. Yeah. This one also the other day was like yeah, so this one is of my favorites. The same thing. This one was so gorgeous. So it's that front wave that I feel like has become my signature. I love it. Yeah. Love a signature. How many times can I say love? <laughs> so what kind of products do you like on your own hair like when you're doing it? Honestly, I'm so bad and I need, maybe you can help me. You can like give me a list of the right products to yes. use. But like when I blow dry my hair, I don't use anything. Which is probably not very good. Not I should good use at like all. a heat protectant, right? A thousand percent. <laughs> That's like the minimum you should have is a heat protectant. Um, so I'll blow dry with nothing. Um, Great. And then once I do that, I kind of just like spray my roots with like dry shampoo. Add a little bit of a wave, and that's it. With What's some your products. favorite dry shampoo? Um, I don't know. What's that one that's in the white bottle? My what favorite are wet one is the one I use on you. It's like dream oh. coat. It's the best. For okay, I'm gonna have to get this. It's the best and it's like anti-humidity. It smooths, like it has it all. And do you spray this all over or just the like? Yeah, I feel like I'm more generous on the end so the okay. ends feel really hydrated. Yeah. And then like around the hairline because that tends to curl up, especially your hairline. Yeah. It like, gets really wavy. Yeah. Um, and then when the hair is completely dry, I like two different ones. There's one by Amika, which I don't have in my kit right now. And then there's a second one by Orbe. We've got some. I like Orbe The products. gold, half gold. <coughs> anti humidity That's mm. really good for my hair, no? Yeah, I mean, this is good for like at the end of the style. Okay, all your weave is in. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so the next step is really like waving. So I'm using this product. Uh, it's by the Product Junkie. It's meant for consumers to do on yourself. 
but it's just like a easy, easy, easy deep waiver. And it's pink. And it's pink, so why wouldn't you want it? You know. <laughs> so you just take each section of hair, start with the bottom extension, and you kind of want to, when you're curling it, you want to merge the extension hair with the real hair, so that it's like really, really seamless. So just take that section. I essentially sprayed the whole thing, brushed through the spray, and then I'm putting in the iron, letting it kind of heat up, and I'm kind of touching it and testing it, making sure it's getting warm. And then when I'm ready to move down, which will be in a couple seconds. <laughs> <laughs> I can totally do this myself, yeah? It's so easy to do yourself. So you move it down, and then you want the next time you move down for this rod to go where your last spot was. So, so you move it down and then just kind of slide it where you left off and then just wait for that section to heat up. So this is kind of the outcome of the wave. So you can see it's like, it feels kind of, see how it feels like a little crunchy? Yeah. So that's like to let it set and then at the end we'll kind of brush, brush through it. it. And just to go through when you're doing this, you want to spray like the top section but also the underneath. And it kind of needs to be like a generous amount for it to like really grab onto the, the iron. But I'm using Redkin's Control Addict 28. Technically, it's a finishing spray, mm -hmm. but when you're doing something that needs to like stay, then I use it as a prep. Is that like your favorite hairspray? It's actually like become my new favorite. My favorite all-time hairspray is Aveda Control Force. Aveda Control Force. But they never send it to me, so... Oh, send it. <laughs> so that is one side done. There's still like a little bit of touching up, and then at the very end, we'll kind of like brush everything out. But yeah. That's kind of like what the wave will end up looking like. Where would you say that this is like the perfect look to wear? Because it is like very like sleek and fabulous, but also like kind of cool. Really brushed out, this can look like very boho and yeah. summery. But if you keep it like really sleek, it can be very evening. You can dress it up. It depends what you're wearing, your glam, like your makeup. But I think that's what I love about this wave, it's like it's kind of versatile. It can also and, look like super natural, like if you just like Yeah, like you don't like have to chill. take such clean sections. If you do it more messy, then you get a really beach wavy look. Like it doesn't look so like structured. Yeah. So there's, there's like ways to customize it so it's like unique to you. So we're slowly wrapping up. So we're just kind of moving up section by section. And again, I'm just kind of taking each section with a little bit of natural hair that's underneath. I'm just kind of merging everything together, spraying it with hairspray, and then just wrapping up this last section. That is all. <laughs> Talk to me. <laughs> Take that same hairspray that I used to prep and spray it brush. And I just kind of like make sure that the top area is like nice and flat and everything is kind of merged together. You can even do it with your hands, honestly. You just kind of rake through it. We have the finished look. Super gorgeous. It still feels really soft, which I love. And so pretty. Thank <laughs> you.